Hi class, this is your instructor Megan, and in this video I just want to provide some tips for you on using the content repository. So you've completed the first couple weeks of the course, and you'll see that in week four we're going to switch over and get to the application section of the course. So you spend the first three weeks kind of reviewing design, learning about content strategy, and the importance of using the right kind of content in the right kind of publication. And now we're going to move into actually making some of those publications. And so your challenge with these assignments is not just to design, but also to choose appropriate content and to choose appropriate length of content. So for example, with the InDesign newsletter, this is going to be a print newsletter that you could mail out to people. And you have just a front and a back for this newsletter. So your challenge is to design and to implement a design style that goes well with the Digital Medium Labs logo, but you also need to be able to choose content appropriately for a newsletter. So you'll have to think about when someone might look at a newsletter. Think about when you've looked at a newsletter. If you get a front and back page newsletter in the mail and it's all one story, are you going to sit and read it? Probably not. Um, look at the examples provided to you for that week and get a sense of the length of content. And then you'll have to come up with what kind of content. You know, who is this newsletter for? What kind of content do they really care about? The general public, for example, is not going to care if you created a new employee incentive program. Um, the general public is not your employee, so they don't really care. So your challenge is going to be to come into this content repository and to find content appropriate for whatever it is that you're making. So you're going to click on content repository and then you'll see uh, some, several folders. Uh, the core strategy statement is where you're going to start. Actually, I need to change this logo. I change the logo every semester so that the designs come out differently. <laughs> so I'll need to change that. But um, this is last semester's logo, so I'll change it to this semester's logo. Uh, but you need to read this. You need to start with the core strategy statement because I'm going to be judging your newsletter against this strategy. This document explains exactly what the client wants. The client wants these specific key messages for different groups of people. So what you need to do is sort of figure out, okay, who is this newsletter for? Is this newsletter for the techie turned CEO? or the corporate manager, or is it for both? And then you're going to have to come see what the messages are you need to include. And then you're going to come see what possible topics might be. So for the Techie Turn CEO, what kind of topics would be appropriate for that newsletter? And then you're going to have to use the content repository to find sources. So here in the text folder are articles that you can use for your designs. So what you'll need to do is sort of get a sense of what they are and then how you might use them. So a newsletter is about news. Does it make sense to put our process in the newsletter? Is this news? What's newsy about it? Well, the answer is nothing. This really isn't news. This is more promotional material. Um, let's see, what about uh, eight important things to think about when building products. This is advice. Is this appropriate for a newsletter? So this is going to be your strategy is to come into here and get a sense of what this content is and then figure out what content is appropriate for the newsletter and what content fits this strategy that your client has created. So when I judge your newsletter, if you look at the rubric, you'll see that part of the rubric is about design, but part of the rubric is about choosing appropriate content and including these messages in your content. If you have any questions about using this content repository, please don't hesitate to ask. If you have questions, it's likely that your classmates have similar questions. So by asking them to me, you're not only helping yourself get the answer you need, but you're helping your classmates get the answer that's going to help them as well. So if you have any questions about the content repository or anything in it, feel free to ask.